Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you an example on drawing a tree diagram where I'm picking three balls out of the bag. Okay, so let's go straight into the example that we have here. So we have a bag of balls. In the bag we've got five black balls and three red balls. So we're going to pick three balls out of the bag. We're not replacing any of the balls. So this is quite difficult to do. So we need to think carefully what the probabilities are for the second and third ball. So we need to give ourselves plenty of room on this. So I'm going to start over on the left hand side. So I'm going to do my first two branches. Okay, so this is for my first ball that I'm picking. So my first ball, I can either pick a black ball or a red ball okay so the probability of picking a black ball would be one two three four five five out of a total of eight so it's five eighths and the probability of picking a red ball is three out of eight okay so I'm now going to complete the top route then so I'm then going to pick another ball out so remember I've picked out a black ball previously so this, these two branches are for my next ball. So for my second ball, again I can pick out a black or a red ball. So remember I've picked out a black previously, so that has gone. I could cover that one up if it's easier. So the probability of picking another black would be 4 out of 7. And then a red would be 3 out of 7. Okay, and then... Let's again just follow the top route. So let's do from this black ball here on the second pick. So if I've picked out two black balls previously, this is for my third ball, and then can pick out another black and red. So I've picked out two black balls previously, so I'm going to cover those two up this time. So the probability of picking another black. Will be one, two, three, so it'd be three out of six, and a red would also be three out of six. Notice as well that each pair of branches adds up to a whole one. Um, so you can use this to help you if you're finding it difficult as well. Okay, so let's complete our third ball for picking out a black and a red previously. So again, if I've picked out a black and a red previously, I can then also pick out a black and a red for my third ball. Okay, so remember what I've picked out previously, I've picked out a black and a red on these two here. So I'm going to cover those up, a black and a red. So the probability of picking another black for my third ball would be 4 out of 6, and a red would be 2 out of 6. Okay. So I'm now going to go back and figure out the probabilities from when I picked the red ball first of all. Okay, so I've picked out my red. So for my second ball, I can then pick out a black and a red. So I need to cover up the red because that ball went first of all. So the probability of picking a black next would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be 5 out of... 7 and a red would be 2 out of 7. Okay, so we've just got the third ball to finish off now. So let's start with this one. So for this one, I've picked out a red and a black previously. So what can I pick next? Well, I can pick another black and a red. So I'm going to cover up the red and the black because they went previously. So the probability of picking another black will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be 4 out of 6. And the probability of a red will be 2 out of 6. And then let's complete the bottom route then. So with the bottom route, I picked out two reds previously. So I can still pick out a black and a red for my third ball. So I'm going to cover up two reds this time. Um, it's a little bit awkward. Let me just cross them out. 
Okay, so the probability of picking a black ball this time will be one, two, three, four, five out of six, and a red will be one out of six. So that's our tree diagram complete. Okay, um, once you're done, you might be asked then to work out all the outcomes. So the outcomes would be, so if you follow the top route, that would be black, black, black. And if you wanted the probability for that, you just multiply these three fractions together. So 5 eighths times 4 sevenths times 3 sixths. It's probably best to use your calculator on this because we have three fractions. So we've got 5 eighths times... Uh, four sevenths times three sixths. So that gives us five twenty eighths. So our next outcome is black, black, red. So get that by multiplying five eighths by four sevenths by three sixths. So that is the same as the previous one, isn't it? So that would be also 5 out of 28. The next outcome will be black, red and black. So black, red, black. So that would be 5 eighths times 3 sevenths times 4 sixths. So let's put this one on your calculator. So we've got 5 eighths times 3 sevenths times 4 sixths. So that's also 5 twenty eighths. And the one underneath will be black, red, red. So that is 5 eighths times 3 sevenths times two sixths. So we got five eighths times three sevenths times two sixths. So that is five fifty six. So our next one would be red, black, red. That is three eighths times five sevenths times four sixths. So we've got three eighths times five sevenths times four sixths. So that's five twenty eighths as well. Okay, and then our next outcome will be red, black, red. Sorry, that last one was red, black, black, wasn't it? So our next one would be red, black, red. So that would be uh, three eighths times five sevenths times two sixths. So again, let's type that one on the calculator. So we got three eighths times five sevenths times two six. So that is five fifty six. So we've just got our final two to do now. So our next one will be red, red, black. So that would be 3 eighths times 2 sevenths times 5 sixths. So we've got 3 eighths times 2 sevenths times 5 sixths. So that's um, the last one, 5.56. And then our bottom root was red, red, red. So this would be 3 eighths times 2 sevenths times 1 sixth. Uh, 
and that gives us one out of 56. Okay, and those are all the outcomes then of picking three balls from the bag with the probabilities. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.